All right, and here we have it, Mr. Ryan Hoops. Paul Ahan, how are you, mate? Very well, thank Hoops. you. Pleasure, thank mate. You. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Welcome boys. to that jumper punch. You know what episode this is? One. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's 33. Oh, oh, is it? Yes. Of course, it. we get the best. That's right. Episode we get 33. the best. Hey, listen, you were one. A four hula hands. That's a lot of hula hands to play oh, AFL, huh? Oh, Damien, yeah, Collingwood. My oldest one, yeah. Yeah, you played for Collingwood and North Melbourne. North Melbourne. Adam, Geelong, and Richland. Yep. Correct. Then we had Josh, St Kilda. My youngest one. Yeah. yeah. And then research. you, of course. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It was the best. <laughs> Come on. Do you want me to be, be honest. honest or why? Yeah. My old. To be honest, my oldest one probably had the most. I'm not. I'm. But I'm not going to lie. Was he silkier than Man, you? No, not silkier. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not silkier. But no, he was, we're all very different players. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, to be honest, I was the best. Oh, I reckon you were the best. Uh, I reckon you were the best. Wow, the stats show that. Yeah, well, the stats. Hey, listen. Stats don't lie, do they? Um, did you ever play against your brother in the AFL? I Any did, of your actually. brothers? Yeah. Um, Adam. I played on Adam twice. You played on him? Well, he played on me. Oh, yeah? He played on me because... <laughs> or this, funny, this story is Funny story this because Wayne Britton was my coach and then he went to Richmond. Right. And he actually got Adam... Because Fritz and I had a pretty good relationship. He yeah. had the MCG. He actually got Adam to come and tag me, actually, and oh, actually <laughs> told him to try and get me. He didn't tag me out of the game. He, he didn't tag me out of the game. He, he didn't last too long. <laughs> I was going actually pretty well. So, so we talk about that a bit now. So I love it. That was oh, just a yeah. once off. It was weird because we were standing in the in the back pocket and we were set. We lived together at the time and we we're like, how weird is this? Yeah. I was there and we actually had a chat and I'm like, well, was, that was actually a good moment. Yeah. I, I remember that. I remember that. It would have been. Yeah, it was good. You're playing as kids and all of a sudden. Yeah. All right, just simply, you uh, you then played your first game, right? It was around 11, 2000 against Melbourne. That was your first game. Do you remember that? Was it again? No, North Melbourne. Was it North? Edno Melbourne. I played on it was North Melbourne over here, across the road. Yeah. North Melbourne. Or oh, maybe I missed out on the end. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe we'll cut that cut no, that no, out. No, 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 it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah. I was over here, my first opponent was Byron Pickett. I remember that. Oh, I remember that. That was uh, I had a tackle I ran on. Had a tackle in the first 30 seconds, probably the only tackle in my career. <laughs> I didn't do one after that. Um, and yeah, that kicked it down to Cuda, and that was my first ah. touch. Cuda kicked the goal. So yeah, just over here, yeah, round oh, 11. I see. Mm. You kicked the Cuda. I like yeah. that. I, yeah. like I remember that. that. I remember that. I don't remember too much of my career, but I remember that. Like it was oh, yesterday, like it. actually. Where did the footy story start for you? Did you play, obviously, as a junior through? Yep. And then was it a whole family affair? I'm assuming, obviously, you've got to play. But We're where? country boys. Yeah. You grew up in the country, so as you know, there's not much to do in the country apart from play sport. Yeah. So we grew up in Corowa or Wagunya, just near Corowa. So yeah, it was uh, four boys, the whole town would come. We had big land, had a footy ground in between my place and my Nan and Pop. We'd be crossing a big footy ground with the post and everything. So the whole town would come to our yeah. after school every night and we'd play cricket, footy, yeah. basketball till mum would call us in. Best. You played play footy, best. you played cricket during, All that, day. during the summer. Yeah. Until it was dark every yeah. night. Yeah. Then we'd go in and then we'd roll the footy socks up and we'd play games in the, <laughs> in the lounge room. Did you start? Between yeah. the four of us, it'd get pretty You dream about playing AFL? Every was day. It, was it? Every day. Yeah, did you think you were going to get there? Like, seriously? Oh, like, yeah, I, I did I did have a... Yeah, I did. I, yeah, no, that's because good. Because mine was because my older brother went. Yep. To the AFL, and I was young, and then my second brother went, so I was kind of like, well, I'm next. Yeah. So I never really thought I wasn't going. Of course. Um, so it was just a thing that I never thought about. So. That's not real. Yeah, who did you? Good. Who did you and your family follow? Well, growing up. So Damien went to Collingwood. I was born into a Collingwood. Wow. Family <laughs> like my, like crazy yeah. Collingwood, and then I got drafted to Carlton, which was. I hated them just because. <laughs> of course. I, I was yeah. like my blood was black, and then soon I straight away, as soon as I got drafted to Carlton, it was yeah. hated Collingwood. I always thought about that. Like if I played, no, I would never play. <laughs> but I always thought like if you go to Collingwood, like oh man, because I. Man, it changes I'm, quick. Yeah. yeah I can 
literally as soon as they read my name out, I just loved like and now on draft day. Colin has a how do you feel about Collingwood? I no well no, I'm just Carl. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. I don't hate Collingwood, but I'm just Carl. What did the that's family it. say when you they said initially it might have been mixed emotions. It was a mixed, <laughs> mixed emotions, yeah. but they all jumped on yeah. Carlton yeah. quite quickly. And yeah. because I played there for so long, yeah. my dad's a bit 50 50. <laughs> Everyone else is Carlton, but my dad that's still 50. That's good, that's good, that's good. Hey, listen, there was a round 20 game uh, against Essendon, early injuries. Yes. The Cuda and Bradley, I'm telling you, we should have won the Premiership that year. There mate. was I'm a few more you. too, wasn't there? Yeah, Matty I'm, Allen was there. I think Matty Allen was, was there, yeah. There was four or five from my yeah, memory. Yeah, yeah, but the Cuda got the big injury with that Johnson. Just before the he game? Just before the game, wasn't it? No, no, it was just in the first quarter, I think. Oh, he got really? injured. Did his knee? He did, they bumped Oh, knees. that was in the final you talked yeah, about? Yeah, no, yeah, no, right? that wasn't final, that was round 20. Mm. Oh, was the end of the yeah, year? Right. Yeah, round 20, and then after that, he was supposed to win the Brownlow that year, it was all about Yeah, we were never... We were never the same after that. Yeah, tell me just quickly, Cooter, right? Is he one of the best you've seen play when he was at his best? At his peak? Yeah, at Cooter? his peak in that 2000 and that. When I was so young, yeah. I would have liked to have seen him when I was a bit more mature yeah. and I could appreciate him a bit more. Yeah. But I just remember thinking, is this guy even human? Yeah. <laughs> he like, I actually just remember thinking, because I was like 73 kilos and I had Cooter just. I was like, yeah, but I didn't really. I'd like to see him yeah. when I was a bit more mature and appreciating because yeah. then he had his knee. Yeah, I like, would have liked to play some more years when he was at his yeah. peak, but at his peak, it's I've like never. A specimen. I've had a yeah, I've had like Juddy at his peak, which yes. Yes. was yes, 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 unbelievable yes. to play with. Yeah. Um, Bevy at his peak, but different because Bevy was more forward, he yeah. didn't really come out of the 50, but the mid, yeah, they were, two, they were two of them. You just don't free my all time favourites with you. <laughs> he's, got to, he's got to say what he's got to say. That's all right, mate. I like it. Did he slip something in the coffee? Yeah. That's good. It's it. That's it. Did, nah, yeah, yeah. As, as a player, like coming through the system, are there sort of, from a player perspective and a coaching perspective, are there two, is there a coach and a player that you, that stood out for you, who sort of took you under their wing and you used as a mentor or? Early days, I yeah. had a couple. Yeah. When I, uh, Scotty Camprioli was right. one I used to look up to. Mm-hmm. Um, just, he was, me and him become pretty close. Mm-hmm. And Aaron Hamill before he, before he left, uh-huh. I kind of looked up to. He was a really good, both of them really good role model. Yeah. Um, trained hard, really nice guys. Um, but yeah, then I lost both, actually lost both of them because well, Hamill went to St Kilda and yeah. then Campo not long after went to Essendon and then, um, That's right. and then obviously Juddy come in and Juddy was kind of, didn't take me under my wing, but he just set an example. Of course. You know, he kind of went to another level of training and, you know, that's the, how professional you have to be. Of course. That's good because when he did come along, that was the whole thing. Juddy changed it. Did yeah. he? Did he change? He actually did. We needed a culture change. Yeah. Or just a shift in. I wouldn't say culture. Yeah. Just a shift in mindset of yep. how we're going because before that we probably weren't setting great. Well, well, looking just, back, looking back on it, we probably weren't setting very high yeah. standards of training and coming back in shape. And yeah. We just, we just didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he, he come in and did change it. Yeah. No, I, I which agree. we need it, which we need it. I agree. Everyone says, oh, you know, who won that battle with uh, West Coast and and, and, um, yeah. and Kalanda? But to me, like, what Juddy did, like, all right, yeah. Kenny won the premierships oh, and that, yeah. but, but what he did, I think, was We needed huge. it. Yeah, yeah. it was huge. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he definitely lifted the standards around. There's, yeah. um, in your own career, there's sort of one game stand out where you just thought, I'm not getting beat today, no one's... They can't touch me. For me, for me, it was around three game against Essendon when was you come, what, when you kick. Was I think you kicked three? Yeah, was that you the kicked three Friday that's night? The, that's the game I thought you were talking about before. This when one we was, had a few. The early one, yeah, that was the early game. Out. Braddles pulled out. Silvani didn't play. Kuda didn't play. And then I think Matty Allen pulled out. And they, they, they had one. Event. And I, I was kind of half forward, forward. And Correct. Then they just had to put them more in the midfield. I Correct. Think it was just true. Mm-hmm. They didn't have any other. Didn't have any other options. And then I kind of just grabbed it. With both hands, and it's a bit. It started raining that night. It did, and I always bit, remember yeah. when it's a bit dewy. I, I don't mind it. Yeah. So yeah, and then I kicked that goal, which people still remind me about. 
the left chainsaw one. The, oh, the chainsaw one, yeah, the chainsaw one. What were we going to say about that? The chainsaw There was no crowd there. Yeah. There was no one to understand, and I think I did it. The chainsaw in front of like three construction workers that were sitting in the stand. <laughs> if you look, if you look at the thing, it was like literally no one there, and I'm there going doing a change. I don't know, I don't know what happened to be honest. People asked me to, like I going into the game was, was I thinking I was going to do a chainsaw? I'm like, why, why would you do a chainsaw? I, I honestly never done one. It in my was life. brilliant. Uh, it was the just, only question I've got now. Who did it better, you or Brett? Well, Lane? that's who people. Are. <laughs> that's what, maybe that's, that's, that's maybe that's who I got it off. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But it was no, about that, was that good, same time. That was a good goal, man. That was a good goal, man. That's a big. That's a good memory. Yeah, man. No, I like yeah, that. Yeah. Always a consistent, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that gets it. Yeah, yeah, all the big stories are against. I love yeah, playing yeah, Essendon. Yeah. Like, I think everyone yeah. loved playing Essendon. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was, uh, the build up and through the week was always Collingwood and Essendon. So you played in a couple of finals. I think five. Could be. Could be. Was be. Was I think I got him there. Come really on, close, mate. really close. But the first one was against Melbourne, right? Uh, I remember that, that year. One. That year. And we lost. We were like heavy favourites that year. Qualifying final, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I remember I kicked the goal to put us about two points, just like late in the. Yeah. I didn't do much that game, but I remember kicking a goal late. And I think it put us within two or three points. Yeah. They ended up beating us. Beating us. Beating us. Yeah. And we were the best team. The we were the best team. You I were. think that year. You were. Because they went through and got smashed. Yeah. The next week. So yeah. I don't know what happened. Again, I was so young. I was you like played, 18. You played the next final huh? against. What was it next week? The next week, you play, we played against we. Of course, we played yeah, against yeah. Uh, against Brisbane, and we smashed them 82 points. It was it that week after yeah. that? Was it? Was it? Yeah. Yeah. And then we played Essendon. And ah, lost the that's the right. Yeah, right. Yeah, he came yeah, back yeah. and won a big one. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's right. Then. Yeah. Now the memories stop. It's starting to go back. It's starting to go. I was, yeah, I was 18 at the time. Yeah, no, nah, so nah, it's, it's a long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. And I wish I appreciated them games more because when I yeah, of course, you come of course. The, as a young kid and you start playing finals and we were smashing the teams over here by yeah. you know, 50 points. Yeah. And we were running around. I, I, did, I took it for granted. Yeah. Because then it was like uh, two or three years, and then we just went down. Yeah. And then I didn't play in another final till late in my career. Yeah. Yeah, that's Speak right. Down, like, what was it? What was it like at the club when all the salary salary cap drama started, and they were in the paper every day for all the wrong so reasons? Quick. Yeah. It was. It literally felt like it happened overnight. Like we were, mm. we were dominating the, you know. The, Competition, yeah, you were well, literally, it felt like war. Well, well, yeah, and then the salary cap stuff happened. But I, again, I was so young, I didn't really yeah. take much. I, I was just concentrating on getting a kid. Get, yeah. I didn't really worry about the external stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, literally, then we're in. I remember having meetings, like thinking back, or getting pay cuts. And, you know, they were asking yeah. all the players to take right, pay cuts. Like I was saying, what do you want to do? Do you want to take them? You know, if you did said no, I was, nah. well, I was a young kid. I just be like, yeah, yeah. No, so well, and then that, no, happened, no. that happened for two or three years, and um, yeah, well, it was tough. It was really tough. Did you feel like there was just a lull with everyone? Very, just coaches, players, players everything. everything. It was like looking back yeah. on it now. Like at the time, you try and keep the vibe up, and all the players get around each other. And, but looking back, yeah. you kind of step away after your career. You're like, that wasn't good. Like that's tough, tough time tough for everyone. Time, tough time for everyone. So. Pagan come over. He became then the new Pagan coach. come over. So how was that? Because he was a big name at the time. Again, yeah. because you're only in the four walls of the yeah. kind of the footy yeah. club, everyone's just trying to like pump everything up. Like, you know, like we're gonna go and um, you know, we come out that year and won the, the I don't even know what it's called then. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, the wizard. Cup, the wizard yeah, 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 the pre-season cup. You know, the yeah, wizard yeah, cup. Yeah, yeah. We won by it. Wizard yeah. cup. We won by it. We yeah. smashed everything. Yeah. Yeah. And Dennis was just like, we, you know, so in our heads, we're like, <laughs> we're <laughs> going to win it. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to win the... But you, the stadium was packed. Because yeah. he was... And we, we celebrated like we won the grand final. Yeah. I remember I wore my... I think I wore my medal for a week and went out for <laughs> three days. <laughs> and, um, and then by round six... <laughs> oh, fuck. Everyone fucked. And we're on the bottom. We're just going, what happened? And it was just a long... Because we had a big pre-season that year. Yeah. We... We played like six practice matches, four quarters, tackling, like... 
I was, right, yeah. you know, we'd played probably 12 games of, before it was round six. And yeah. We were just we were cooked. Well yeah. cooked. Yeah. And everyone was fresh and we were like out of <laughs> I remember just getting the halfway through that year just going, oh, like get me on the footy trip. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was looking, I was looking at like trips to go away just, and then the last half of the season just dragged on. And, so it does, it does yeah. drain you and, you, and all of a sudden like it just, it, everything drains out man and the yeah. rest of the year. It was pretty much I remember that second half of that year, it just went on forever and ever and just dragged. But no, anyway. No, no, well then, then, then uh, well, you move on, you had some big games, it was uh, in 2007, right? You got to the record of 33, yep. so yep. that was one. You yep. played your 150th, and you had a good year that year. Yeah. Because you were beating players like Aaron Davies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary Edward Jr. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was getting James some big Heard. names. I was getting some big <laughs> You were getting some big names, and I'm telling you, I really... I had seen Herdy a couple of days ago in Bondi. He's yeah. living in Bondi, so yeah, yeah, no, yeah. we had a good chat. Yeah. Um, so you had a good year. You yeah, like... that was under Dennis, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, not all that bad under Dennis. No, it was, Dennis was good. Yeah. Dennis. <laughs> I mean, I'm, he got a bit. You know, we we got all those salary caps uh, things when he yeah, came came that into was, it. That was we picked up a whole bunch. Your mate Tiggy come down. Yeah, there was a whole. There was a big clean out. That yeah, year. Was I think he got ten players yeah. over. Digby Morrell. Yeah, from, there was Digby. a few from North. Yeah, yeah. there was a few. From yeah, there was a few from everywhere. Mickey Martin. <laughs> Mickey Martin. Martin. Mickey, yeah, and there was he's a, got our hair, dude. Yeah, mate. He's got our hair. And then there was a few from Hawthorne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, yeah, there was, uh, yeah, Glenny Boyer from Glenny Boyer. It's from right. overseas, Europe, probably. Yeah, that's off right. the beach. Yeah, got that's him right. off the beach. That's right. That's right. Um, so it's good. It's a big play now, and we we um, actually did all right that first year. Yeah. 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 No, Dennis. Dennis was good for me. He loved. He, he, put a lot of faith in me he, actually I remember he jumped to me and said because I think that was the year Campo went to Essendon so he said you're going to step up and play his role so I got super fit and he goes you have to take the fitness to a midfield level yeah. and then he played me on some good players and yeah. it actually taught me how to kind of I don't know, like, you know, where the good, really good elite players yeah, yeah. would go. So follow I was, I was in, follow them around and then I could naturally kind of just go to the ball. Yeah. So I could stop them and then yeah. I was actually getting a lot of the ball from um, you know, the elite players. So it, was, it was good. It was a good man, learning curve. Silky, man. We, I, I'm telling you, I love watching you play, man. Yeah. Was like, where did your nickname Hoops come from? All the, all all the hand, all the hoops. All it's the pretty hoops. easy. Don't no, worry. I didn't even say I didn't even. I, I didn't, had a dollar just for every time someone oh, asked me that. See? I'd be, wouldn't be here. <laughs> I'd be in Europe. All, all, all the hoops. hoops. All the hoops. Okay, oh, there we go. Now it's I know. Pretty, it's pretty it's, easy. It's bugging me mind. Like, yeah. I've got to ask him pretty now. Like, self explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, when you play, were you a superstitious man? Actually, good question. Good question. So. At the start of my career, I wasn't. Yeah. By the end, it was it was got a bit out of control. <laughs> um, I don't know how it happened. It was so at the start, it was I would just run out last onto the ground. All right, that was it. Like last by a fair way. Okay. And I don't know why I tried to like run in the middle, and then I wouldn't get a kick, and the, and then I up the front wouldn't get a kick. So I was out the back. But then I remember. David Parkin grabbed me here and said, don't you ever come out last. And it was, must have been my first year, don't you ever come out last, like run out, it looks bad. That stuff, yeah. And then, yeah, and then I was like, I was like once David Parkin says something, then I think I ran out like ahead of the captain. The next, <laughs> they're like, jeez, are you the captain? I was that scared. No, but then, so then it was, I think, if you come up the front and then, I, I wore the same, this is, I don't know if this is bad or disgusting or whatever, but I wore the same underwear yeah. from the, there. I've still got them at home, they're green, they've got holes in them, they're disgusting. They were green at the start, but uh, <laughs> yeah, now they're like, like all types of colours. Yeah. So I wore them for my whole career and I couldn't, couldn't not well, wear them. I've heard that a few places. A few, yeah. yeah. And then uh, I had a bit of stuff going with, yeah, Fevy and I would always do this handshake before we went out. Oh, yeah hug each other and do all that and then it got to a stage where I had to have my petrol in my car full <laughs> <laughs> or else so or every time to the game I'd have to fill it up to the top and there was times when I wouldn't and I'd get back in the car and go fuck so, so. and that would so that would stuff 
stuff up with your brain. Like, Mate, you go out there going, oh, I've got an empty pack. You, you have to go to the same server every time. And then it become that. <laughs> the same service station. So I moved to Port Melbourne. I was living here in Essendon. So it was weird when I lived in Port Melbourne. I'd have to drive over here the day before for this service station here. And then I'd have to drive back and then, mate, it was terrible. And another one was I would always have to shave, like, this this off, maybe, like, yeah, to, yeah. The, to the skin. You always clean shave. The morning good. of the game. Right. Yeah. And I tried to grow my beard, and then I, I wish I could have my beard, like, during the game. Yeah. But I just didn't go near it. So, anyway, so I had a lot by the... That's funny, man. That's the <laughs> only ones I can remember, but there would have been... I, I drank, like, six or seven... Power raids the night before, oh, yeah, and it become like a number. I think it was six, six the night before, or the day before, and then one in the morning. That's great. Us. So it was. We just got out of control. <laughs> uh, no. Closer to today, what are you? What are you up to outside of footy? Have you you've been keeping tabs on on the boys? Obviously, you're still yep. mates with with yeah, yeah. So the last year was a bit of a, yeah, a bit yeah, of a bummer yeah, for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. No, I was uh, I was in Tiggy's and I was happy yeah. to see him get the job. And uh, yeah, it was Ooh, just, everyone, was, everyone, everyone, yes. was, and I think you deserved to get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so I've known TG for a long time, knew him growing up, and then um, it was just hard to watch. Yeah. At the end of last year, he didn't get nothing against the club, but I just he didn't get much support. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just a shame it didn't turn out the way I. Yeah. He wanted it. Everyone wanted it. Cause yeah. I thought I actually thought that he would have turned it around. And, um, Anyway, hopefully this year we've been saying that for a while, but um, no, I still watch the boys. Passionate, very passionate. Yeah. It's, it's hard to. I, I've tried to go to games after I retired, but then I, it was just kind of hard to hard to watch. So I'll keep it. I watch it, watch it from afar, but <laughs> yeah. I always watch. Yeah, I watch them yeah, every game. So I don't miss the, the game. Don't you want the best for them, of, of course. Yeah. I'd love to go watch the finals again. I'd love to, oh, I'd love to do that, better, and I'd love to. Yeah, I'd love to go every week. Yeah. But sometimes oh, man. you walk out a bit disappointed. So. Man, we got one like on our show. We we take Somac every every. You know, yep. what Somac is the no, acid. That. That's, that's the acid reflux. Oh, reflux. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'd need some of that. Yeah, I'm telling you, mate, because what they've been doing to me yeah, lately. Yeah, well, that's man. what. That's yeah. I'll, I need some of that. Have you got some? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, like, we, hopefully, we, we don't need it this year. Yeah, no. Nah, so hopefully, um, yeah. Outside of footy, what are you? What are you getting up to? Yeah, I've got a restaurant. Um, Give it a plug, mate. Here, Rusty yeah. Co. It's uh, in yeah. Derriman. So I built that nine, yeah, ten years ago now. It's doing well. Big family restaurant. Oh, let's get uh, down there. To, yeah, get down in there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Rusty Co. Uh, Two hundred eight family restaurant. So that, that nice. does well. Beautiful. I've got a gym up north. And I had a um, cafe that I sold just before COVID in South Melbourne. So nice. looking to do something else uh, this nice. year. So yeah, so I got a bit on. But um, nice. we'll put, nice. the, we'll put some stuff down the bottom. Nah, 100%, we'll put, yeah, man. We're going to go there. Sure. You go down there, you mention the jumper punch. And, and you'll get charged triple. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add 20% to the bill. We'll put it on the boys. <laughs> the boys, the JP, the we'll jumper punch. Yeah, the jumper yeah, punch. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. a jumper punch. That's, that's, that's it, man. man. Nah, this has been great, man. We really appreciate you coming no on. No problem, boys. To the jumper punch. And, yeah. Um, yeah, you were, as I said, definitely one of our favourites at the time, man. We yep. Who's Silk now? Who they call Silk? It was Yaron, then it became Burgoyne at the moment with oh, the club. Burgoyne. I don't know who it is at the club. I don't no, think we have it still. I the original Silk, man. I don't think no, I'm just going to go down. I'm the, the, the OG. Yeah. I wish there was an OG. I'd love to. Yeah, yeah. Um, you might have to go down there and teach them a few skills, <laughs> I reckon, mate. Well, just yeah. quickly, did you, like, did you ever think about, like, doing anything with the AFL or, so when or I, Carlton? No, I, I did go to the Giants for, um, I moved to Sydney straight yep. after my career and was coach of the academy, the Giants academy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so that would have been good. It was good, it was yeah. good. So I moved up there and lived on the beach. I always just wanted to get out of the bubble yeah. of Melbourne, lived on the beach in Manly, yeah. did that. And then uh, it was good because I had all the boys that are now superstars of company, like yeah. Toby, Caniglio, Jesse Cameron, they were like 17, 18. Yeah. Yeah. And it feels like yesterday, but yeah. So I was the academy coach and it was when Sheeds was there. Yeah. And Chucko Williams. Oh, that would good, man. So I had a yeah, so Sheeds oh, every yeah. time. And Santana O'Helpham was there. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Big uh, Satan. Brett Thornton. So, yes. I, yeah, so, yeah, that's right. Right. so every time Sheeds yeah. would walk past us and we would be all together, he would give it to us. Oh, here come the Carlton boys. <laughs> Sheeds like from 200 oh, metres yeah. away. He'd go, oh, oh and <laughs> get in, just hammer me. <laughs> oh, Sauce was there. That's who got me there. Sauce yeah, was, was there. there. Yeah, yeah. And Stuka, who's Paul Brody, yes, who's, yes, yes, yes. he was there as well. Yep. 
So we had a actually yeah. So that's who that's who got me up there was Sos. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and then I had a two year contract that I only stayed there for a year. Yep. Didn't love Sydney. Couldn't really the traffic was a nightmare. It took me an hour and a half to get out to Blacktown every day. And it was then, one way, man. You miss a street, man. You've got to drive <laughs> for two kilometres to get back. I literally went out for dinner one night. That's exactly right. I was going out to meet my best mate for dinner. I missed the turn. And I said, man, I'm not coming. I'm fucking driving over there. I drove through the night. True story. True story. I rang my mum. I said, see you in the morning. She goes, what do you mean? I said, I'm coming home. Nine hours. I drove through the night. Literally. True story. I got rang. I didn't know what I was doing at the time. Six weeks later, I rang up the uh, removal and said, this is my address, pack all my shit and come back. And I never went back. That's true, I'll tell you. I rang, yeah, it's funny. I had a two year contract and um, never went back. So anyway, oh, I love so it. yeah. I love it, um, it's, it's good, yeah. yeah, yeah. But so that's... we have to we have to uh, think then Cornelio and all that. Yep. A little bit of hoops in the man. Oh well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's just say let's that. say that that's, that's it. Yeah, no, yeah. I taught Toby, I did a little bit to- oh, and Adams from Collingwood, what's he? Taylor Adams, oh, I was Taylor there, Adams. doing a bit yeah, with yeah, Taylor, yeah. so doing a bit of kicking stuff for those yeah. two. So um, speaking of doing a bit before we wrap up, we yeah. just got a little bit of mail. Apparently you were the man who organised the infamous boat cruise. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually watched. I love it. Oh, thanks for that, man. <laughs> uh, I thought I was going to get through yeah, this interview yeah. without that coming up. But, um, yeah, that was me, actually. Yeah, yeah, that was. Funny, because, funny you ask it, because at the time, Brett Rapp was the coach, yeah. and he, he was happy that I was doing it because I was <laughs> was oh, yeah it was so it was we hadn't we hadn't yeah we hadn't drank for like the whole I think we were it was an alcohol band or whatever not alcohol but like yeah players got together and said we won't drink so it was Christmas break up drinks yes to cut a long story short um, we met it was stupid when I think about it. Like I thought I was doing the right thing, but we met at like eleven in the morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> on a boat okay. cruise down here. <laughs> it was always gonna be trouble. No, it's so good. <laughs> so we started drinking and no one had drank for so long, like two months. And we were, I was getting them playing drinking games because oh, no. like, the older guys with yeah. the younger guys. A little bit of bonding. Huh? Bit yeah, of bonding. Or a bit of bonding, you know. <laughs> so I thought, you know, it was a thing and I remember we needed money and we were like $200 short or whatever to get that and I was like going around trying to collect money and all the rookies couldn't pay because they were on nothing and Rats <laughs> pulled me into his office and he goes how much do you need here's 200 like I love what you're doing like taking some ownership oh, yeah. and then like four days later I think <laughs> I don't think he thought it was a good idea because he had me on the phone yelling, <laughs> yelling at me but uh, yeah I was in the Herald Sun and it was a big it was a big day it was a big day. That was huge, I could right? go into details, but I'm not going no, to. No, 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 no. Leave it but um, right. I could no, no, sit no. here for an hour and tell you all the funny stories. But yeah, it, was, no, no. it was a good day that turned bad. Yeah. Really. But the funny thing was, Fevy was in Brisbane. That was his first year. He got traded oh, yeah. and he was ringing me. Lucky he didn't get on the boat. He, was, <laughs> he just flew in. No one knows this, but he just flew in and he was going to come on the boat so imagine him we, so we are leaving at like 12 o'clock and he was on his way and I just couldn't like he would ring me saying like hold the boat hold the boat <laughs> and I'm saying oh, mate I can't I can't hold the boat anymore so we left and I just remember thinking oh my god I'm so glad we left because that would have been the headline because he, he was playing for Brisbane, Brisbane yeah. and he would have been on the boat cruise <laughs> and no one knows that but I'm just going I'm like even through all the all the trouble we got through because there was like headline after headline that oh. just kept coming he just coming. saved himself heaps his career <laughs> he would have been done <laughs> still a carton boy huh? he would have been done before he even huh? started it yeah i know that's it that's um him. so he went home but anyway so yeah that was me um yeah. and yeah um, no, that's good, good man. time that's it. Nah, it is Beautiful. a good time thank you very much man this is no great. worries like, superb man no you're worries, a star pleasure. thanks for joining good luck us. with the show boys nah, thank um, you thank you and you'll be good. watching i'll be watching for sure 100 yeah. sure. thank, thank you, you very much. much thanks you. Pleasure, mate. thanks very much take care go blues go blues